Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Hope your weekend is off to a great start. So with the off again, on again stance of WPS Office, which was an office suite I enjoyed very much. I particularly like the ribbon-esque layout that closely matched Microsoft Office. And I know for many of you, it's a Microsoft product and you want nothing to do with it. And I completely understand that. However, the fact remains that the majority of people in the business world and the majority of people in general at some point has used Microsoft Office. I think it's one of Microsoft's better products, quite frankly. So with that all said, I've decided to kind of just shy away from WPS Office until maybe later on and we see what direction they're actually going to head. So I've been putting more focus on LibreOffice. And with that said, one of the areas that I wasn't ever really satisfied with within LibreOffice was the looks department. Now the default breeze icon theme within LibreOffice looks better than most themes that you see. And that comes from the Plasma desktop. And uh, so from that standpoint, I started to look at what options were available and found Office 2013 icon theme for LibreOffice. Now, this is very easy to set up. Basically, you are downloading a zip file and then you have directions here. And I'll put a link. Uh, you have directions here for where to copy that zip file um, into, well, let me back up. You rename the zip file. And again, the directions here are very easy. You rename it to images underscore office 2013, and then you copy it into the folder listed here. Once you've done that, you'll launch into LibreOffice, and I'll just go to Libre Writer. And you'll see here the Office 2013 icon set. I think it looks fantastic. Yes, it's a Microsoft product. And I know for many of you, you're saying boo right now. But you got to admit, it looks great. And it's very familiar. So uh, you kind of just know from muscle memory what these icons are and what they do. So I thought this was really cool. And this is one step into you know getting the looks right and then going in for some of the other settings and options. And there's a lot to explore with LibreOffice that I'm going to be spending more time here. And if there's anything else that's really cool, I'll definitely share it with you. All right, so once you've got the icon set or the zip file placed into the LibreOffice folder uh, for the icon set, then you go into Options. You'll go to View. And you've got here under User Interface, Icon Style. So I'm going to jump over these and go right to icon style. So the default here was Breeze. I simply slid down and chose Office 2013 and click OK. You'll see the icons apply right away. Now you do have options for the toolbar icon size. Right now I have that on large. I just typically I've got it on small, but I figured for the video you'd be able to see it here. You can also change the side by sidebar if I could speak, sidebar icon size as well as the notebook bar icon size. So I'm going to keep those at small, and we'll just click OK. So again, great look. I'm going to jump back in one more time. We'll change it back to the default breeze icon set, which I think still looks uh, quite nice. Let's go back in here. Automatic breeze. So nice there. I think much better than what you get in, say, the GNOME desktop. All right, so we're going to take it back one more time. Options, View, Icon Style, Office 2013. So pretty cool. Looks great. Hope this helps you. And uh, if you've got other ideas for you know add-ons or anything like that with LibreOffice, I'd love to hear about it as I'm kind of digging in more there. And many of you viewers have been using LibreOffice for many, many years, and I'm sure you've got lots of cool tricks and add-ons and things and tweaks that you could share with us. So look forward to seeing that. All right. As always, thanks for watching.